My son started red hot, but the last couple of weeks he's been popping up. We are doing all the top drills, lots of hitters counts, change ups, curve balls, off speed. We recorded his swing and when he gets fooled, he tends to push versus staying in his coil and keeping his hands back. Any advice? I just saw the one leg rear swing drill during BP. We have not done this drill during BP. Any advice on what more we can be doing? Okay. So basically what I'm hearing is he's having trouble controlling his forward move, controlling his load and his forward move, all right? And that's prevalent, but it is no mountain. It's no problem to conquer. You have to work at it a little bit. I had a kid in here from Minnesota today. I had three sessions with him. He had two, yes, uh, yeah, two yesterday and one today. And at first he really, did pretty good with the no stride. As soon as we started to stride, it was like a nightmare. And it's, it's silly for it to be that kind of a problem. So here's what I do to help, tra help train people, people to control their forward move. I do a lot of swings where they start like this with their leg up and then I'm flipping them a ball and I tell them when my arm comes back to flip you the ball, I want you to start coiling and hold this leg off the ground. Okay, so what are they doing? First of all, when they stand here like this, they're, they're learning to balance themselves. They're figuring out just where, um, are they upright? Are they bent over the plate a little bit? Are they sitting a little bit? They figure out how to balance themselves, okay? And then from there, they figure out how to stretch themselves without losing control. How to stretch themselves while staying on the back leg while holding the lead leg off the ground. And then they can snap from there and the lead leg comes down on its own, okay? So this drill is excellent for training, training them to get to the position we need to get to from where we swing, okay? Now I'm gonna show you a video real quick of a softball girl. Who actually does what I just said in a game. Notice how early her leg is up. The pitcher is now just starting to break her hands and do her windmill, and the hitter already has her foot up. She's actually doing, in a game, what I just said is great training. And I will tell you, as this girl shows, and I've got another softball girl who does it, by the way, this girl's not mine. I just happened to see this video, so I took it so I can use it as a demonstration. My girl is not is D1, but she's not for LSU. But she does this. This is amazing control. Slow and early and under control. And you're, you're, when you figure this out, you'll rarely be late on a ball. I don't care how hard they throw. This is a homer. And this girl has 11 homers already. Again, I don't work with this girl, but she's doing what I teach. And so I took the video to show it. The girl I work with, um, a couple of summers ago, she came to me and was playing in a, a summer tournament of girls her age. She had three home runs. I've told this story before, so I, uh, I'm sorry for everybody who's heard it, but she hit three home runs early in the tournament and then her mother overheard the opposing coach just before the championship game say, we're going to make that girl hold that position forever, as if it was hard. She held it forever and she hit two homers off of it, okay? So back to the lesson. Your ability to hold this position right here and slowly coil and swing from there is critical. How early and how slow you do it is going to vary from hitter to hitter. How do you learn it? 
You learn it by doing it forever. How long can you do it before you have to swing? That will teach you control. Whether you're swinging a bat, whether it's just before you go to bed at night and you just get up and do this 10 times, how long can you hold that position and slowly coil and slowly move forward? It's tremendous practice, okay? Once you learn you can do it forever, now it doesn't matter when you lift your foot in the game. If you lift your foot earlier than you should have, you can still hold it. What you can't afford to do is lift your foot late. If you lift your foot late, you're gonna be rushed, okay? So, here's the drill to learn it. Now, if we're not gonna start that way, which most of you aren't, we have to learn to do it in the game. We have to learn to do something in the game that gets us that same feeling. And here's the easy fix. I don't care how you stand, if you stand open, if you stand square, I want you to stand with all the weight on your back leg. Can't hardly see what I'm doing. I'm on my toe, on my front leg. I can pick my front leg up and nothing changes. If I've got weight on both legs and I pick my front leg up, I'm gonna fall, okay? So in your stance, whether you're standing open, whether you're standing square, have little to no weight on that leg. Guess what that means? What that means is, as soon as you pick up, you're already in this position that you know you're good from. Okay? So here you are. Weight's on the back leg, front foot's on the toe. Pick up, coil it up. You're right in that position you want to be in. It's too easy to do. If you're not working on it, you're making a huge mistake. Not just the person who asked the question, everybody should be working on that. Some of you are pretty new. Some of you have been with me a while. Some of you already understand the swing. Some of you are learning it. At some point, you do have to learn the swing, okay? You have to learn the snap. But at some point, all hitting becomes is getting to the position on time with control. Because you already know how to snap it, you already know how to swing, there's just two things we do. We get to a, pos a loaded position to swing from, and we swing from there. Get to the position, swing. Get to the position, swing. Getting to the position with control, so I can hold it for the off speed, is what's gonna make you a good hitter, okay? The mistake a lot of people think is that you've got to really be going forward, you've got to really gain ground to have any power. That's nonsense. When I'm in this position here, and I start to slowly gain ground, see my head is still, but my butt's going forward as I coil and go forward, the load that happens here in my groin, around my leg, and in my back is way more sudden and way more powerful than any forward momentum could ever create. It's a fact. You're going to have to work at it to understand it, but it is a fact.